2024 at 7.26 a.m. Atlantic and Eastern Time. And the future futures are up 5.12.44. Um, and let's go to the weekly. Basically, we got a higher low. And I think we're going to on our way now to do a higher high for the week. So, uh, I expect us to get past, get over 518.2201 sometime this week. It could be, it it could even be today. Um, And I think we're headed to 534, maybe towards the end of the month, potentially beginning of April, the latest, I think. That's, you know, it's all hypothetical. It's all, it's a hypothesis. It's an educated guess. But, you know, that's the the numbers would jive best that way. Um, you know, um, nine, more than 90% of my trades are technical analysis. So, you know, um, barring any major news from the world, um, you know, that, that, that seems like a very doable actionable process that we could follow uh, in terms of how the spot could trade. At the end of the day, at the end of the year, I think we could pro- we'll probably get to like 600 um, or more. And ultimately, I think the SPY does have, the S&P 500 has a lot of room to go higher from here. Um, looking at the quarterly, so, you know, this this could be a, a a complex ABC structure from and this is the conservative from taking it from here from two forty three to uh to four seventy nine but you know I, I mean on a very long term basis years from here uh the spy is just gonna keep climbing higher. The S and P five hundred is going to keep climbing higher. A couple of corrections, not every now and then, but you know, look at look at this correction from four seventy nine to three fifty. That's nothing. These are minor corrections. All right, what happened in two thousand eight? Look at two thousand eight correction from one fifty seven to sixty six. Right, sixty six. These are these are this is nothing, you know. I mean, they what history said, you know. A lot of people go through a lot of emotions, you know. They losing their house, they can't buy food, they don't know where to live, these type of things. Um, but you have to adapt. You got to be fluid, right? You know. You, you, I mean, I I couldn't live in New York, which is why now I live in Dominican Republic. I had to get out of the states. With my uh, with the income that I can get, I can't even work anymore. If I could work, maybe I, it'd be a different story, but I can't work, so I got to make do with what I, with the the little bit of money I get, which is for those of you who've been following along, I get social security disability insurance, uh, which is supposed which is very good. I really appreciate it. It's three thousand dollars a month, but I get eighteen hundred dollars that gets taken out for child support which I don't mind, um, that will, in time, it will fade, and I'll start to get more from here. So my takeaway is 1263 a month, and I live comfortably in an Airbnb in Dominican Republic. Uh, so back to the spy, you know, what does this mean? What does this mean? Check it out. Check it out. I bought two calls yesterday, two more calls of the 540 strike price, end of this month, close. As soon as this turns profitable, as as soon as I get a 20 or 30% return, I'm closing this. I'm closing this and taking my money. Um, My goal is to put in at uh, at least $20 a week into my Roth IRA. Every now and then I'll buy Dogecoin. I, don't have, I closed it yesterday. 
But every now and then I'll buy Doge. Um, and um, and this stock over here, this is just a placeholder where I could, you know, it moves. So it's I only have one, one, one not even two shares. So this is really just a placeholder to take money out to buy calls, essentially. The put is a hedge. I'm not touching that. Uh, unless we we hit 600 sooner rather than later, and then I and then uh, if, if we hit 600 before the end of the second quarter, I might uh, th this will this 180 put will be a lot cheaper than 54 dollars. So I might buy another one and hold it for six months as a as a hedge, but most likely. I won't be doing that, and then this will just expire uh, at the end of the year. And and uh, if this becomes highly profitable, you know, uh, then we'll probably make a correction down to the 300, 300 on the spy, three fifty or something like that, which is welcomed. I'll just take, the, I'll just take, I'll just take this money from the from the put and buy calls. That's all. I just uh, move move money, invest money into cheaper prices. That's nothing, uh, you know. That's that's and um, that's how I see it. And basically, um, for those of you who know a little bit more about me, um, I'm not ending game anytime soon, baby. What it is? So I have to follow along. And ride the wave of the S&P 500. All right. Happy trading.